and welcome back to our blind first playthrough of Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. And I think this is it. We're just getting ready to leave Korriban, and uh, I'm going to go try to see. It seems so counterintuitive. Are these guys going to attack us? I would think so. We can't do anything at the store here, can we? No, that's a Zerka guard. Okay. I'm wanting to go to the store and get some med packs because we had to use a bunch of them. But I don't want to run into Sith either. Um, but we are heading to go confront Malak. We have all the pieces of the star map, and uh, let's go finish this thing up. How are you doing? Greetings. Can we if you purchase from you? I want to see what you, you have to offer. Can. Perfect. Well, we don't have a ton here, but we're going to go with life support packs. We have 22,000. Now, I don't. I feel like I'm feeling pretty good about... Um, who we are and what we look like and what's going on with our characters and like there's there's a bunch of stuff we could buy and there might be some really amazing things but you know what at the end here just to do it i feel like we're good um i almost from a role-playing perspective didn't want to come in here and pick up those med packs but i don't know if we're going to get another chance here so let's uh just get on the ebon hawk i we have some new crystals so i'm at least going to look at what we could do to our lightsabers or a couple of them but i feel like once again we're we're pretty badass with our lightsabers and the crystals we have selected like we can put things on them that'll make it better for droids or against this or against that but let's see here what's up guys we'll go straight for it workbench lightsaber this is my equipped one wait a second do i have the wrong one equipped I have the wrong one equipped the whole time. I th thought that's that's weird because it got taken off us when we went to space. If we did, let's see here. Stupid green. I should just throw it away and sell the one. That is so crazy. Well, there we are. Okay, now that we have that sorted, let's see. <laughs> uh, Damond would be the only one I would replace. Plus three, I think. Plus three or... And that's plus three attack. We have the next door damage plus three massive criticals. That one seems pretty cool. The stun is kind of amazing. Um, energy, it's an energy damage plus one attack. Solari damage plus three one damage versus dark side plus three can only be used by light side Jedi. Yes, that's in there. We're done. You know what? What could we do? Can we do a new... We're going to do a new color. Now that we found out that we're somebody different. We only have one violet. We'll go with violet. Our other guys might have it too, but let's just assemble it anyway. That'll be fun. Okay, and... Um, what else do we have equipped here? So the, Oh, we do have a another violet. I wish we could see who's equipped. it's equipped by. You know what I mean? The sigil is energy, damage, attack. I'm going to put the damned in that one. And assemble it. And then, is this our lady? I feel like. I could be wrong, but um, critical range threat, sure. And let's just make sure they're awesome. Opila? Sure. That's got to be it. We're ready to rock. Mm -hmm. Now, I, oh, can I do anything with my armor? No. Because nobody's wearing this stuff. Darth Bandon's fiber armor, though. Defense bonus, dexterity, upgradable armor. Uh, despite the unfortunate fate of Darth Bandon, this light armor remains a desirable asset for any warrior. The silvery polish reflects a pride in craftsmanship rarely, rarely seen today. I don't know that I need anybody who's going to be fighting that. So, so I know um, I forget who had asked if I was going to switch up colors, and I hadn't really felt the need to, but it's fun to kind of maybe do it at the end here and have fun. Now that we're a mixture between uh, Idaho and Revan. So, what do you say, Candace? Yeah, what do you want? Tell me anything else we have to we say. We fought against the Republic forces for some time. Final words. Over the course of many battles. At the start, they were not much of a threat to speak of. But once you had taken charge things began to turn against us. The Republic fleets began to use more than just basic tactics. Feints, counterattacks, mass deceptions. You were a genius on the field. You are held in very high well. regard among my people. 
You abandoned worlds of their defenders so that others could be too fortified to strike. You made sacrifices in order to advance your goals. Such strategies had never been enough to best us before. In the end, you proved too much for us. You couldn't have won against the whole galaxy? If I had not stopped you, someone else would have. What about the Sith? The Sith had gone, retreated into their empire. They sealed themselves off from the rest of the galaxy. We thought it would be centuries before they'd come back. It's amazing that they could rebuild their fleet so fast. But at the time, it looked like the galaxy was in our grasp. I still remember that final battle in the skies above Malachor V. The two fleets filling the space around it, outshining the stars. But you eventually lost. Um, but that's okay, they liked the glory. It was the glory, the honor, right? What happened in the battle? It was not your ships, or your men, or your vaunted fight for freedom that won this, the final battle of the war. It was by the actions of one person, you, that the Republic prevailed. Your strategies and tactics defeated the best we could send against you. Even Mandalore himself was taken aback by the ferocity of your attacks, the tenacity of your defenses, and the subtleties of your plans. You fought us to a standstill, and then began pushing back. We really didn't have a chance. Wow. Why didn't you retreat? Um, the Republic will always prevail. I don't know about that. It was what we had wanted all along, in a way. We wanted to fight the best, in a battle that would be remembered for centuries. And we did. And you won. I hold no grudge against you, nor do any of my people. It was the greatest of honors to fight against you, even in defeat. It is even more of an honor to fight beside you now. Had you been born of the Mandalorian clans, surely nothing in this galaxy would have been able to stop us. But wishing for the past to be different is useless. Better look to the future, as we should now. We'll talk more later, I think. Is there something else you want to know? I don't think so. I think we are uh, good. Your choice. I'm here if you want something done right. I feel like we are at the... Uh... The end here, we gotta check in with everybody and head out. Candrus described the end of the Mandalorian Wars to you. He seemed to admire you greatly. Maybe he can tell you more later. You know, we might miss some stuff later. Statement. HK-47 is ready to serve, Master. Uh, did we already restore the memory? Commentary. That is unnecessary yeah. now, Master. I have been returned to you and my memory core is now fully functional. Statement. My functionality has now been fully restored, Master. I exist to serve Revan as your personal battle droid. In time, my assassination protocol can be restored, and at that point I will once again endeavor to eliminate any meatbag opposition you may have. Oh, well, thank you, sir. Let's uh, continue our little tour. Ebonhawk has been a fun one. I feel like, you know, this it's its the end. They said it's the final confrontation, so I'm, like, being a little nostalgic now. Got something on your mind, dude? Uh, so when did you go to Kashyyyk? Oh, that was not until many years later, to tell the truth. I spent quite some time wandering the galaxy. And the Jedi just let you go? You were adventuring again, I take it. Let me guess, traveling from planet to planet, doing good deeds. That's funny. Um, the Jedi just let you go? Why wouldn't they? Yeah. I had refused my promotion to Jedi. I was a Padawan who had left the Order, nothing more. I traveled from one civilized system to the next, never staying long. I don't even think I knew what I was searching for. It wasn't as if my travels were pleasant either. There were plenty of folks who distrusted the Jedi after the war, or worse. Uh, what could be worse than distrust? With good reason. I don't see why you were wandering in the first place. No, what could be worse? If people weren't treating me with suspicion, they were looking at me with greed. I don't know how many thought they could make use of me for their own ends. I got so sick of the treachery and deceit. I left the civilized parts of the galaxy and headed instead for the uncivilized parts. Awesome. Sounds good, yep. Just like to hell with all of ya. <laughs> Actually, I was on my way somewhere else when I crashed landed on Kashyyyk. The ship I was using was a rust bucket. So you survived a crash landing? Why didn't you just uh, fix your ship and keep going? So you crashed and stayed? You survived a crash landing? I'd taken some damage passing through an unexpected asteroid field, as I recall. But I wasn't completely without some systems. I could still guide her a bit when I crashed. It wasn't what I would call the smoothest landing, especially hard considering landing. I ended up smack in the depths of the Shadowlands. But I lived. Funny, why didn't you just fix your ship and keep going? 
So you crashed and just stayed? Sure, why not? It seemed like an interesting enough place to spend a couple of decades exploring. And how did you survive? You're completely insane, and the Wookiees didn't mind your presence. How did you survive? Mm, that was a challenge at first. You've seen the kind of creatures that exist down there, and you miss the really big ones. I was still able to rely on the Force to keep me safe for the most part. The rest of the trick is keeping out of the way of most of the predators. That couldn't have been easy. Oh, that's true. Still, most of the creatures grow accustomed to me, and I to them. At least none of them ever heard of a Jedi. You're completely insane, you know that? Um, I don't know if we have to say that. Maybe we'll, we will. And the Wookiees didn't mind you? Oh, they did at first. Oh, yes. I can't say I was overly pleased to encounter a group of indigenous giant carpets either. I can assure you of that. That's funny, too. I remember we've learned their, where they kind of came from and how they grew. That's weird, or kind of, you know, a little bit of hidden lore there. Uh, did you fight them? You seemed on fairly peaceful terms with them. Well, that was after that two decades of helping them. They certainly didn't trust me at first. You helped them? How? When I could, I would assist a few young ones who would get lost in the Shadowlands or attacked unexpectedly by the wildlife. I must say, for a while there, the Wookiees actually thought I was some kind of benevolent forest god. Amusing, really. I set them straight eventually. Uh, why didn't you stop the slavery of the Wookiees then? Well, how's he supposed to stop all of it? It sounded like you and enjoyed being a god. Wasn't it all a bit primitive for you? Well, we'll ask him about the slavery. At first, when the slavers took to hunting down lone Wookiees in the fringes of the Shadowlands, I did my best to divert them. Later, when Shundar made his deal, I didn't see any point. I wasn't here to save them from their own sad follies, after all. It sounds like you enjoyed being a god. Um, no, I don't want to say that. Wasn't it all a bit primitive for you? Not really. Kashik is a place you can feel very small in. It felt good to devote my time to helping people and living simply. Nice. And you didn't receive any news from the outside. You spent two decades living like that? I, I think, still think you're insane. You didn't receive any news of the outside. What can I say? I did it all for the Wookiees. What? What? <laughs> did it all for the Wookiees? That's so funny. That is... That's funny. That's a good reference there. The Wookiees. Well, okay, the maybe Wookiees? I needed some time on a quiet and remote planet, but if you ever need a friend, an incredibly strong hairball isn't a bad call. You're very strange. Isn't that a little uh, Fred Durst in Limp Bizkit? Is that what I'm... I know the song in my head, but uh, you sound quite fond of them. I regret asking you about this now. <laughs> uh, you're a very strange old man. You sound quite... We're going to keep being nice to him. I suppose I am in a way, despite the smell. For a race of gardeners, they've developed quite interestingly. Gardeners? You remember the alien computer, correct? Kashik was meant to be an agricultural planet. The Wookiees were made for a reason. Or at least that's what I'm thinking. Made. But I'm an old man who's had a long time to develop that opinion, so don't argue with me. At any rate, we should be moving along, don't you think? If you sat around this long in the Shadowlands, attack would eat you. Excellent, though. Let's check out his journal. You asked Jolie a little about his time on Kashik, and you can ask him more about it later once you've gained more experience. I don't know that that'll happen, but that was a nice uh, convo. T3? Uh, can you construct a programming spike? You don't talk much. I want to ask you some questions. I don't even know what... You don't even know what I was going to ask. Just chime in. Yeah, we've already been through this. Of course. It'd be nice if we could have a little something something. And, uh, you, sir. Uh, how do you feel about me? Oh, yeah, about me being Revan. Well, he already said his life debt and all that. I thought we already got to that, didn't we? Um, could you help me with a problem? Unless you want someone threatened or a door bashed in, you should ask someone else. Okay. Uh, I feel like we're good then. Is there anything more to say about yourself, Salvar? You have seen more than I would have allowed and taught me some things too. I'm grateful for that. It will be a while before I know what my role will be in making Kashik truly free. I have a lot to learn. And then we've already asked him about that, so I don't just don't see. I wish you well. Let's get going. Yep. Yeah. 
How about you, Jahani? Yes. What is it? Is something wrong still? I was remembering Taris. Yeah. Again, what about it? Not this again. I'm sorry again. No, it's all right. I'm sorry. I think I'm over the worst of it. I apologize again for lashing out at you. It was not your fault. It was a horrible place to have to live. At least in the lower cities where the non-humans tended to get relegated. Living for years in a place with no sun, living off the trash dropped from the upper levels, and the meager pay doing back-breaking labor. And those rat ghouls, how did you survive? That's horrible. I do not remember seeing any of your race on Terrace. Actually, There were yeah. none. Bad enough to be a race that is feared and hated by humans, but to be one that is strange and different, even among non-humans? But oh, living man. was hard enough, without the stigma of being from a lost race. There was always the danger of Rakuls coming up from the sewers, or more mundane predators living and working in the area. My family and I struggled each and every day to make something of our lives, but we could only go so far. Taxes from the corrupt government, more fees from the gangs controlling the streets, and whatever was left paying for what food and medical supplies we could afford. Uh, was it that bad? No one could help you? How could such a government last? Um, how could such a government last? How about not. that? But only because of the Jedi who came. It was very bad. We had no money to spare for any amenities. Even the Enclave on Dantooine seems a paradise in comparison. And, of course, there was the constant bigotry and hate from the more affluent and human citizens, lording their wealth over us living below. Every once in a while, a rich human would come down through the lower levels with his droid entourage just to see how the wildlife lived and laughed at the mockeries that were our successes. But I have come to meet many decent humans in my travels since those days. Indeed, some of the greatest people I have ever met are human. Like who? Uh, one of the Jedi you met? Decent humans are hard to find. Um, like who? The Jedi who encouraged me to join the Order. The one who was with the group going to fight the Mandalorians. She was human. I am sorry. I am getting away from my point. If there even was one. Sometimes I curse the day my parents fled to Taris. But then again, if they had not, I would not be where I am today. And now Dantooine is all messed up. Oh man, your parents fled, fled, fled from where? Another story for another time. For now, we must continue our own epic to save the galaxy if we can. Oh, poor lady. And Dantooine's just torn up now. He lost every home. Oh, okay. Well, where we have Karth up here. I want to find Mission. I forget. She's off of one of these ways. There we go. What's up? Hey there. What can I do for you? I want to talk about me being Revan. I want to talk about you and your brother. Um, I feel like her and her brother. Let's do... Is there one more we have to discuss? I want to thank you for helping me with Griff. You, you did everything you could for my brother. More than most people would have. I know it might look like it didn't make any difference in the end. Griff's in debt and on the run like usual. But at least I know we tried to help him. Exactly. Don't give up on a mission. He could still change. Griff's a slime ball. Mission accept it. I invested a lot in Griff. I'm still looking to get some payback. If I ever see your brother again, he's a dead man. Don't give up on him. He's your brother. He's all you know as a brother. Like, love him. Just, you you know. I know people can change no matter how bad they were, but uh, I'm not holding my breath. Don't. None of us is perfect, but I've come to realize that Griff is a little less perfect than most. My brother is what he is. But I've learned to deal with that. I'll never forget that he looked after me when I was just a kid, but I don't feel like I owe him anything anymore. There you go. That's fine. Uh, so you're okay? That's a very mature attitude. I still hate that core slime's guts. I'm going to ask if she's okay. I've made my peace with Griff and what he means to me. If he ever shows up again, I'll deal with him. But I'm not going to dwell on my brother anymore. It's time to move forward. So is there anything else you need? No, I think we're moving forward. Okay. Have it your way. Oh, we got a little light side point at the end, too. Why not? Why not? And uh, let's actually go to the bridge now and talk to... I think Karth is our last person here. There you go. 
Well, what's up, Garth? Yes, what's on your mind? Your brother, man. Or your son. Brother. Brother. Um, do you think you'll see Dustal again? I think so. If he's anything like he used to be, Dustal hates to be tricked. There's no way he'll let the Sith trick him again. As for whether or not he'll be my son again, I... I don't know. He's so full of anger and hate. I wasn't expecting him to be like this. Well, maybe we can work it out. I, I hope so. I, I guess I'll have to wait and see. Thanks, by the way, for all your help. Oh, you're welcome, man. Um, I guess... Yes, what's on your mind? Let's if try If you're this. ready to talk, then yes. So am I. And? I can't hate you. I tried. I wanted to hold you responsible for all the things you've done. For my... For my wife. For Telos. For Dustal. But I can't. Why can't you? I'm glad to hear that. Why should I care if you hate me? Um, why? I got the revenge I always wanted when Saul died. But it hasn't brought me the peace that I thought it would. Despite right. whatever part of Revan is inside you, the, the darkness that must surely be there, it isn't who you are. That's why I can't hate you, why I don't want any more revenge. You don't have to be Revan. You can be so much more. Whatever the Jedi did to you, they gave you that chance. Whatever's happened up until this point, there's going to come a time very soon where you're going to have to make a choice. And there won't be any turning back. And what if I make... The wrong choice. Well, I hope I can save you from yourself. Oh, hell yeah. Well, let's hit it. We have the coordinates, correct? Where are we going here? Uh, Starforge system. Hands up. Excited. Let's do it. I don't know, this might take multiple episodes. This might be the last minutes where we go straight there and we just have it out. I love it. Or do we have to run through a whole planet and all types of stuff and just like, you know, real finale style? Could be a couple episodes. We'll see. I don't know. I, I'm i playing this blind. <laughs> Strong child, but I will break you. I'll never fall to the dark side. Now, this makes sense. This is in the preview. <laughs> Come on, Bastila. Torture will turn me, Malik. You're a fool. Torture? No, dear Bastila. You misunderstand. This is but a taste of the dark side to whet your appetite. When you finally swear loyalty to me, it will be willingly. Never. <laughs> Such resolve in your words, but I see the truth in your heart. The dark side calls to you, Bastula. You hunger to taste it. Become my apprentice, and all its power can be yours. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. We're coming, Bastila. Hold on. The Star Forge. We're here. What is it? Tons of ships. Is this how they're making all the ships? Because they said they couldn't get a fleet. The Starforge. I've never seen anything like it. I'm transmitting these coordinates to Admiral Dodonna. Maybe a quick strike by the Republic can cripple the Sith fleet. Message is away. Now we can just wait for the Republic to show up. We should be safe here. We're outside their sensor range. Small vanguard of Sith fighters coming in hard. Someone needs to get on those gun turrets. Oh, come on, gun Take turrets. Take those fighters out before they report our position to the main fleet. Not again. Let's go.
get back there. Let's let's do some shooting. They sensed we were here. Six of them so far. I see six. Gotta keep track and let see him coming in. Oh. I'm missing him. I'm missing it. I'm where is he? They don't really let me get them on the... Uh, I have to get them when they're coming in, right? Let's see, I'm just going to track this guy. Oh, I did get him. Okay. Got him. There he is. I can't lower anymore. Where are you coming? Come on in your on your approach, man. Is that it? All right. <laughs> oh, we've got problems. We've flooded some kind of disruptor field. All my instruments are jammed. We've got massive overloads in all systems. I'm picking up a single planet in this system. I'll try and put us down there. Hold on. This may be a rough landing. Oh no. <laughs> Who knows what's going to happen now? Do we have to get to this planet? Is this the end? Or do we have to make it back to the Star Forge after this? I love it. I don't care. I'm excited. Ooh, pretty. Paradise? Whew! Talk about your rough landings, Karth. What's the matter? You're flying like you've been on an all-night Theresian Ale drinking binge. That disruptor field fried our stabilizers. We're lucky we made it down in one piece. But if I can't find the salvage to make repairs, I won't even be able to get the Ebonhawk airborne again. During our rather rapid descent, I noticed the holes of many crashed ships scattered across the landscape. Perhaps the parts you need can be found among their wreckage. The Cathar's right. This planet's a technological graveyard. I saw dozens of downed ships out there. That disruptor field must have wiped them all out. But where could it be coming from? Even if we get the stabilizers fixed, we have to find and disable the source of that disruptor field before we can take off. Otherwise, we'll just end up crashing again. Okay, that disruptor field could wipe out the entire Republic fleet. I wonder why the Sith ships aren't affected by the... That. How about that? Why aren't they affected? They must have some kind of protection against it, but the Republic fleet won't. We have to find a way to disable that disruptor field, or the Sith will slaughter them. T3's picking up massive power fluctuations on the ship's sensors. They seem to be coming from some type of large stone structure to the east. It looks like some kind of ancient temple. Oh, yeah. Uh, you all seem to be forgetting about Bastila. Hey, I thought we needed to find some stabilizers. Let's go check it out. Good idea. If that temple's generating power, it probably has something to do with that disruptor field. Hey, don't forget about Bastila, guys. We still have to rescue her, too. I only hope we're not too late. Bastila has been Malak's prisoner for a long time. If he can turn her to the dark side, she will join him and the Sith will be invincible. Bastila would never turn to the dark side. Never. Uh... Even together, they are no match for me. I used to be the Sith Lord, re remember? Bastila would never, will say, if that's our only choice. I fear Bastila will find the lure of the dark side difficult to resist. She is strong in the Force, but she is also impulsive, willful, and proud, as you once were, Revan. Don't call me that. I'm not Revan anymore. If Bastila has joined Malak, then she'll suffer the same fate as he does. No, don't call me that. I am glad to hear you say that. Now that you know your true identity, I was afraid you might slip back over to the dark side. If Bastila well, feels as you do, there may yet be hope for her. Well, if Bastila's on the Starforge like you think, Jolie, then we can't rescue her until we disable that disruptor field. 
The sooner we investigate that temple to the east, the better. We can probably find the wreckage of a downed ship along the way. And if we're lucky, we can salvage some stabilizers from it to get off this planet. I hope everything works out as smooth as you make it sound, Karth. Well, so do I, Mission. So do I. All right, so let's uh, go forward. Now, quest for the Starforge. When approaching the Starforge, the Ebonhawk fell victim to a disruptor field and crashed on an uncharted planet. In order to escape this world, you'll need to find a way to disable the disruptor field as well as find the necessary parts to repair your ship. Lovely. Uh, trapped on a nameless world, Starforge system. You've crashed on a small uncharted planet. In order to escape, you'll need to find some new stabilizers to repair the Avonhawk, and you'll have to find some way to disable the disruptor field that caused you to crash in the first place. Two ways of saying the exact same thing. We appreciate you, though. Let's go... Let's get off of this this tin can. Where are we at? There we go. Who are we taking with us? Central Beach. You know, why would I take... I could take T3 as my only other choice other than taking my crew. I'm taking my damn crew. Because we just melt everybody. We have no resistance. We're Jedi super soldiers. And we're ready for it. And we got our light swords. Yeah, instantly something going on. What? Oh, who are these guys? Indigenous people, or...? Okay. Um, oh, Rakatan Warrior. I mean... Dudes. First of all, let's just see how my Force Wave holds up. Why? Hold on. Wouldn't you? Oh, we almost have all the same color. <laughs> uh, just attack. You get over here and go up there and attack them. And we'll just come back to this. Let's... How about we attack a little bit here? We do another one. I just doing another one. Told you we bad. Around any corner could be... Oh, what are these guys? Yeah, let's, um... I'm just... I don't know that I care right now. If we just use our stuff, I don't have to set up everything else. You, yes. come here. Let's get one of these in the front. How about him? 
And you, lady. Sure. Oh, we got blown up. That's okay, though. Uh, why don't you... I don't know. What do we do? Just Why don't you just attack that one? How do we get into the fighting? I don't understand. What are we doing? Am I out of power? Is something hap- Why do I keep- Weird. That's okay though. Heal us up. Let's do it. Thank you. Yes. We're, we're still amazing. We get it. Anybody else? Anything to pick up? No. What's over here? It's two paths. Paths. I see the temple out of the corner of my eye there. Oh, Gizka. More Gizka. Where are we going? We're going to find some hidden Mandalorians. That is a nice looking uh, shot. Oh, let's uh, just take a look. Nice. Beautiful. Oh, there's our temple. Are we going to find anybody at this actual temple? Oh, temple exterior. You know what? I want to look around everywhere else but there. How about that? Because I know we want the temple. But do we want it first? Let's see here. Are the Mandalorians on the way to the temple? I thought they said north, but there's some other path over here. What is this? North Beach. Oh, we'll go to the North Beach first. Sure. What's going on? Should we have brought a Mandalorian with us so that they don't attack us? I'm not really that worried about it. Oh, oh. Stay your weapons, interloper. We are not here for battle or blood. We bring you the invitation from the one great champion of Rakata. Rakata, the one? What are you talking about? An invitation? What kind of invitation? Invitation. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Do you oh. understand these creatures? You must have learned their language when you came here in search of the secrets to the Starforge. Back when you were still Revan. You have used strange magics and weapons to slaughter our raiding parties, Interloper. You have bathed in the blood of a fierce of fierce Rakatan warriors. Your power and skill in battle has impressed the one. He wishes an audience with you. A great honor. Come with us now. We will take you to him. Sounds good. Let's go. This is going to be a gladiator thing or a one-on-one -on -one duel. Uh... Who is the one? What's going on here? I don't have to come with you. Okay, take me to the one. I'm not going anywhere. Uh, who's this the one? What's going on? The one is the leader of our tribe, the great champion of uh, the Rakata. He has feasted on the flesh of many foes. Come with us and we will take you to him now. I'm not going anywhere. Then we'd fight him, whatever. Uh, okay, take me. Let's go. We have to. Like, what's going on here? This is classic Star Wars, too. Like, actually going and finding out about the culture a little bit. Meeting the people. Even if we're in a fight. Hey, what's up here? Oh. Revan, somehow I knew we would meet again. Even when you vanished, I knew you would not forget the vow you swore to me. What vow? <laughs> and when my scouts told me of a great warrior from the sky slaughtering our raiding parties with mysterious powers and magics, I knew you had at last returned. I have no clue of what you're talking about. I'm not Revan anymore. That part of me is gone. I'm Idaho now. Vow? I don't remember any vow. Um, I'm going to say I'm not Revan anymore. That part of me is gone. Your words are confusing. I recognize you. You are the one called Revan. You are the one who came here before. You and Malik. The one who served you. You promised to slay our enemy in exchange for our aid and swore to destroy the elders and bring us their secrets. Are you saying this means nothing to you now? 
My mind was destroyed. My memories were lost. Um, I'm sorry, but I don't remember any of this. I'm going to say my mind was destroyed. I believe you, Revan. I sense this is something different about you. Something that has changed. You are not the same as you were before. Yet the power of magic, what you call the Force, is still within, within you still. You can still destroy the Elders and fulfill your vow. You can't force me to kill your enemies. What was this vow exactly? You vowed to kill the Elders and bring us the secret knowledge they protect. In exchange, we promised to use the lost knowledge to help you enter the Temple of the Ancients. When you vanished, we thought you had forgotten us, or been killed by the Elders. Now that you have returned, our alliance still holds. Destroy the Elders and we will help you. Temple of the Ancients, I still don't understand. Um, persuade or lie. I will help you, but you have to answer my questions first. I will help you, but first you must answer my questions. Why would I have to... I'm going to say, first of all, Temple of the Ancients, I, I still don't remember anything. I suppose that if what you say is true, that you cannot remember when you were last here, then you must have many questions. Very well, Revan. I will help you to understand, and then you will destroy the Elders' tribe and fulfill the oath you swore to us long ago. You should probably start with the last time I was here. I'm going to need some information if you want me to succeed. Um, you should probably start with the last time I was here. You arrived with Malik, your servant, three of your galactic standard years ago. My scouts saw your skyship plummet to the earth, and they went to loot the crash site. They tried to take you prisoner, but you unleashed your magic and what you, what you call the Force upon them. Seeing your power, they bowed before you and brought you here to me. You used your power to rip the Rakata language from my mind, even as you drove basic into our skulls so we could help you in your quest to find something called the Star Forge. But the answers you sought lay within the Temple of the Ancients, and we could not help you enter the Temple. The Elders alone hold its secrets, guarding them with their very lives. You say my ship crashed. Was it because of the Disruptor Field? I need parts to repair my ship. Tell me about the Temple of the Ancients. Tell me more about the Elders. First of all, you say my ship crashed. Was it because of the Disruptor Field? I know nothing of this Disruptor Field, but throughout the history of our tribe, ships have fallen from the sky. It has always been this way, though in recent generations it has become more frequent. We have little understanding of such magic to make metal fly, but my scouts rush to take whatever we can carry from the crash sites in hopes we may one day unlock these secrets. This was how we acquired our Rancor war beasts. Several very young specimens were recovered from the crashed vessel. We raised them to adulthood, training and breeding them to be loyal beasts of war. Okay, well, I need parts to repair my ship. That I cannot help you with. Although we have recovered many strange devices from the skyships that crashed to the Earth, their use is a mystery to us. As a show of good faith, I will allow you to search the stores of our tribe and take whatever you find. In exchange, I know you will destroy the Elders and bring the secrets they guard back to me. Tell me about the temple. Did, is this repeating or is this something new? There's little else I can tell. Little I can tell about the temple. I know the secrets of our ancestors are contained within, but the temple itself is barred to us. When last you were here, you and Malik sought to enter the temple. You sought ancient knowledge and a way to escape the world within its stone walls. But only the elders know how to bypass the barrier that surrounds it. Destroy them and bring back their secrets to us, and we will help you enter the temple. That was our agreement. So how did we get off the planet the last time if we didn't do this? Maybe the elders helped us and we just said to hell with these guys. Um, tell me more about the elders. Forget it, I'll never help you against. Uh, just tell me more about them. The Elders guard the ancient secrets. Within their compound is the knowledge of power and magic, including the knowledge of how to enter the temple itself. I have lost many warriors storming the gates of their compound, but they use weapons of light and fire against us, and not even our war beasts are strong enough to breach their defenses. Sometimes we can capture an elder when they venture forth from their compound, and we have learned something about them. That is how we know they guard the ancient secrets, but no matter what tortures we inflict upon them, they will not reveal their secrets to us. They fear the knowledge they themselves guard, and they will never willingly surrender it to us. I don't see any other choice. I'll be back after I kill the elders. Um, I will kill, persuade, lie. Forget it, I'll never help you. Um, 
I don't see any other choice, so I'll help you. The compound of the elders is to the south, beyond the Temple of the Ancients. From torturing the few elders we have captured, we know something of what lies beyond the gates. The elders are few in number. If you can get past the exterior defenses, you could surely slaughter them all. Then we can bring us, you can bring us back the knowledge they guard. So where is this information? In some kind of computer? If I kill the elders, how can I bring you their secrets? Yeah, if I do that. There was one prisoner, an elder whose mind broke beneath our tortures. He raved of ancient rituals, of lost power, and forgotten secrets. Unfortunately, most of his dying screams made no sense. Yet in his last hours he spoke of a book, an ancient tome, that recorded the most powerful knowledge of the elders, and detailed the rituals that could unleash the secrets. I am certain this ancient tome will allow you to unleash what has for so long been hidden by the elders. Bring me this book and I will use the knowledge within it to help you enter the temple. Alright, I'll be back. Um, lie, don't worry, I'll slay the elders and honor our deal. Forget it, I'll never help you. Okay, I'll be back when I get the book. When you have it, bring it here to me. Until then, you may move freely about our village. I will be waiting for your return. Well, well, well. I wish sometimes they talked so I didn't have to read it all. Trapped on a nameless world, the one leader of the Rakata tribe, R Rakota? Rakata, has made a deal with you. He has agreed to help you enter the temple if you slaughter another Rakatan tribe known as the Elders. Oh, so there are more Rakatans. Okay. He wants you to go to their compound near the temple and bring back an ancient tome in exchange for his help. Well, we shall see about that. Uh, let's look around his place here. It's been kind of crazy. Um, I don't want to unlock that. Wait. Are there parts in there? They're going to let me scavenge, but I have to like go through... Um, that's not, not my bag, man. Oh, so there's more parts? I don't want to kill these things. Why would I try to kill them? Weird. Look at our map here. Um, well, you know what? If there's parts we need and they're in there, then we'll find that out later. Let's, uh, head back through this way. Maybe it's a bigger place than what I'm realizing. Because this is just the arena. Give us free access. What's up, guys? I didn't... I, I suspected, but I wasn't sure if we were going to get pulled into like a whole other planet or realm. or Other than just like the final confrontation. It's a series of final confrontations. And I'm okay with it. And I don't know where the lore is going on this. Like, I have a feel... It's... Hmm. What is this ancient temple and all these secrets and what is the Star Forge and who built it? What I, I'm confused. Like, is it all about Jedi and things or? If we were to say hi, what 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 do you have to say? The one has decreed that you may claim any piece you wish from the treasures we have collected from the ships that fell from the sky, Revan. Wata wata mulia. Well, let's claim some treasure. Some treasure. This is beds. No treasure here. Um, container. Are the? I don't. I'm not sure if they're going to be mad at me. They've gotten mad at me before in villages for taking their stuff. So I'm not excited about trying. I guess I could do a save. Um, but role playing wise, maybe we'll just roll with it. You know what? Since we have more here, let's uh let's try. Are they gonna be pissed at me if I take their stuff? Not yet. Okay, well then we'll go get this other one too. There we go. We'll see if he gets pissed though. We can always reload it. Also, I was just looking on my map. We missed that half horseshoe, so let's run over there before we check this other part. Oh, okay. It was just this space. I get it. Okay. Okay, now we're back to where we haven't been looking yet. Lots of guys, which we can just tank through pretty easy. These are the wicker bins we've already gotten. Thank you. This is our door out, I would believe. 
But what is over here? Where where are we supposed to get our all the parts and stuff? I mean those are parts, but those aren't parts. Hmm. Final room here. Final room. Oh, who's the lore mat lore master? I don't I don't know about the parts. We'll figure it out when we have to. But lore master Gajarsha. Greetings, Revan. I am Jarshi, the lore master of our tribe. I am keeper of our histories and chronicler of the quests of the one. I am not Revan anymore, I am Idaho. Uh, your lore master, what do you do? Memorize books? Do you not hate me for leaving your people before? I must go now. Um, I don't care if... I'm not going to tell them who I am. You are a lore master. What do you do? Memorize books? The position of lore master is a sacred and respected one among our tribe. We are the keepers of history. The ones who pass down the traditions of our people. I am here to chronicle the conquests and achievements of the one. I have followed his exploits for many years. And yours as well. Mine? Um... Can you tell me the history of your people? Because we love lore. What of our people would you like to know? Tell me how you came to be. In the times before our most ancient histories, there was nothing you could call the Rakatan people. There were unintelligent proto rakatata wandering the surface of this world. Spawned from the womb of this world, they were gifted with the brilliance of thought, but not tempered with the wisdom to use it. When the gods of the sky first spoke to them, the ground shook and heaved, and fires raced across the surface of the world. They fled beneath the ground to escape the calamity and dwelled there for some time. At last the gods spoke to them in dreams, dreams of the surface and the light. They reemerged from the ground and found the land much changed around them. Gone were the plains and valleys they had known. Instead, there were islands stretching across the breadth of the world. The world had been remade for them by the gods of the sky, and they gave thanks in fear and gratitude. Ooh, tell me of the gods you mentioned. The world is ruled by the gods of the earth and sky, both living and dead. When the, earth, when the sky gods remade the world, the gods of the earth, who had sheltered and protected the Rakata, were gone, whether dead of asleep, they had not been heard from again, dead or asleep, maybe. Nor do the gods in the sky listen to our pleas any longer, although we can still see their lights gleam in the heavens. Nor we mortal Rakata are so we mortal Rakata are left here to our own devices to make the future we demand for ourselves. Man, it's just like we're getting towards the end, but then we find this race and we gotta find out the lore and uh, tell me of your first civilizations. Back in the day of the First Awakening, when our people rose from the ground and brought the light of civilization to our new world, our people spread far and wide across, wide across all the islands. Among these people, there were some that rose to greatness on the largest islands, Rakatans of vision and forethought, who built great monuments to themselves and their leaders. But these cultures did not know their true strengths. They did not draw upon the knowledge of their past to feed their present. Of course, these cultures with their centers of learning and their great temples collapsed in riots and chaos, burning their cultures from the world in an orgy of violence. It was a thousand years of darkness before the light of First Empire rose upon the blood of the past. Interesting. More, more, more. Um, how about the one? And then we're out. <laughs> the great story of the One would take many days to tell in its entirety. It is my speciality, of course. What would you like to know of his great story? Oh my god. Well, how was he raised? Born to poverty, raised in a hovel, with no elders to guide him and share their strength with him, he had nothing to rely on but himself. But in his weakness, he was uniquely destined for strength and the burdens it carries with it. Even in his youth, it was obvious that the one was destined for greatness. When but a youngling, he defeated one of the strange blue-armored warriors who fell from the sky and feasted upon him. The respect from his battle gave him the step he needed to go forward on a path that has led ever upward since. Blue metal, blue metal, is that the Sith? Or, weird. Tell me how he came. Uh, by adulthood, the one was held in awe by those his tribe as both a warrior and a leader. When he challenged the chieftain of this tribe, no one doubted that he would prevail. 
The chieftain could see, and knowing that the one would bring the tribe into greatness, offered himself up without a fight. The tribe fed well and was strong for his sacrifice. Ooh. Under the relation leadership, leadership of the one, his tribe conquered all others on the island, capturing and subduing their warriors, feasting on their chieftains, and growing his own army at the same time. Okay, cannibal warriors. He was truly a force that could not be stopped, a leader unlike any we have seen in our history. He will be the one to unite us all. Well, I guess we have to get to it. Didn't we just... It seemed like we heard his conquest, but no. After he had conquered his own island and his army had grown to large size, he turned his eyes towards the nearest other islands in the archipelago. With each island that fell to him, his army grew stronger, his wisdom greater, with each chief given up to him, and his vision of a future for our people brighter. Before long, he had conquered every island in a month's sailing and had armies expanding in every direction. It seemed that nothing would stand against him then. But we heard of the Temple of the Ancients here, and on this forgotten island at the edge of the true sea, and the one was intrigued. It was a place of power to be sure, and no, none could doubt its significance. Driven by portents and oben, omens, we came to this island with a thousand of his finest warriors, and here we stay. We cannot leave while the temple stands unopened, but we cannot enter while the elders stand against us, and the one sits each day brooding on the fate that has led us to this impasse. So, we have to go meet these elders, I'm going to hear about all of their history, right? Okay, I... Something else? I don't think so. I think we're good. Wait, we... Okay. How your people came to be, the gods, the first civilizations, the first empire. We got the first empire, didn't we? With the first civilizations of our people destroyed and chaos and anarchy sweeping the island, it seemed what a time of darkness had descended upon us that would never end. But a strong nation of survivors yet endured. One On one of the smaller islands near the equator regions, they had not forgotten the oldest traditions. Those learned from the gods of the earth while we dwelt beneath the surface. Taking the knowledge of their elders and passing their wisdom and skills on to the next generation by eating their flesh. But they built a culture unrivaled throughout history, greater even than your vaunted republic. For millennia, this empire stood, uniting the many islands of our world into one cohesive whole, each generation passing its strength onto the other one that followed. But fate was unkind to these great Rakata, these first ones of our kind to rise above savagery and create a true, lasting civilization. Uh, didn't we have to say what happened? Our skin had been hardened and turned black from the time our people spent beneath the surface. But always at the fringes of society there were rumors, rumors of those other colors who survived above the surface while we dwelt below. We can pinpoint no direct cause for the collapse of the First Empire, but it was swift and total. What had taken centuries to build and was maintained for thousands of years disappeared within 10, maybe 20 years. From the ancient cities we have examined, there was much fighting and death, as well as fires that burned bright and hot enough to melt the stones of their palaces to glass. Also, in scattered fragments and records, we have heard of a people being found, a people unlike the Rakata, but taking our form, who waged a monumental war that tore civilization apart. It's like Earth or Terra. What this war was or those beings, we do not know. But they are the demons of our legends now. We believe them to be gone, wiped out in the vast conflagration. But we cannot know for sure. Well, I think, I think we got it all. If you must, I shall remain here as I always do, listening to those who wish to speak and remembering. Oh, that gave, gave us a bunch of experience just for talking to him. Nice. Well, I still don't see where the parts are unless they're in the arena with the creatures and we'll have to fight them to get them, but we could do that on the way back. They're not going to let us... Um, leave this place without it, and we have to leave and come back anyway, so let's uh, exit.
They're not trying to fight us yet, are they? No, we're good. We're all happy. Let's check our map here. Okay, well, we have some things to do on the beach here. Or do we have to go up past the temples? Oh, I love the little Gizka. So let's move around. Let's uh, try to find out what's going on with these elders. And let's do it all in the next episode.